love you. I just couldn't pay the extra 20 bucks. Yeah. Going on the sports page, bro. Yeah. Uh, sports page, D Sports. Detroit Sports World, baby. Detroit Sports World. Yeah. <laughs> Especially football here in Justin. Detroit Lions beat the Browns 38 to 24, and I do not like this win at all. And I'll explain that. Hey, this is Detroit Sports World. My name is Maurice Lewis. This was not a sexy win at all, guys. This was not a sexy win. We struggled against an O and now nine Browns. We struggled. How? I will tell you why. Because on offense, we could not get anything going. We couldn't get the run game going, and, and, and Matthew Stafford would go three and out. I mean, I'm just keeping it real. But the offense is stagger, and I really – now I have an issue with the play calling. Now I have an issue with Jim Bob Cooter because now, it, it just seems like the, 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 the play calling is somewhat predictable, you know? Now, I, you know what? The run game's not there, so if the run game's not there, why are you trying to run the ball to pass it because it opens up – no, the – this is the other way around. The passing game opens up the run game. So unleash Matthew Stafford. You may have to throw it on first down and second down and then run it on third or something like that or mix it up. Or you may have to, to, to throw it on first down and then run it on second. I mean, you got to mix something up, but the offense is just too predictable and we can't run the ball. So why the hell are we running the ball if, we, if it's not working? You know, Abdullah had um, 52 yards. And, you know, that's somewhat good for him because we haven't even been able to get over 50. But he had a touchdown, too, and that's good. But um, – and I and I realize that running the ball definitely takes pressure off Matthew Stafford and it gives you a balance. But it is not working, and teams are literally picking this up. And I know this because I go to the games and I watch it and I just watch football. You know, so people th – this offense is just – and our defense, man, our defense is starting to – be on the field way more than our offense. We need to stop that. We need to stop that. Come on. And against the 0-8, now 0-9 Browns? I mean, no offense. This is the NFL. But come on. This should have been a blowout. This should have been a blowout. It shouldn't have been close going in the first half, going into the second half. It shouldn't have been close. It shouldn't have been close. I mean, if it wasn't for Kenny Galladay, Playmaking comes in, um, catches two clutch balls to make a drive to score a touchdown. I mean, if it's not for stuff like that, and then um, Theo Riddick, and, 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 and hey, Eric Ebron even stepped up. He scored. I like that. But if it's not for those, man, I mean, come on. I mean, we, we should have been doing this in the first half. Where is this? This is crazy. But um, Matthew Stafford. 249 yards, three touchdowns. That's still good. Uh, Golden Tate had a big game. 97 yards, one touchdown. I'm loving what I'm seeing out of Ebron. Uh, keep it up, man. 
People are loving him, but at the same time, people are still booing him like bad. It's crazy. Um, and then, like I said, the rise of Kenny Galladay. You know, he needs to play big time. I mean, clearly the talent's there. He, he was just not healthy. Hopefully he can stay healthy. But you heard it from me. My name is Maurice Lewis. Let me know what you think about this video. You can follow me on all social medias, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Hey, Detroit Sports, baby. I'm out.